Hello everyone, welcome to our pre-calculus lesson video. This is for our final term practice paper review. And we have actually, you already have the solution, we will just uh, go over the questions uh, so that you have some uh, verbal explanation also uh, for, for all the questions. So for the first one, there is a couple of graphs here and some functions also given here. From the graphs and uh, from the function, how can, these are the equation. So how can we match them? This is the question. Okay. So from the given function, given question here, we can actually we can actually uh, find out what is the amplitude and what is their uh, period, and then sine function, cosine function, positive or negative. Then from the from this obtained information, we can later uh, find out the other. Thing. So you see, first one is amplitude is already 3, you can see, and this is negative sine function because there is a negative sine. So that, that will be negative sine function and period is 2 pi divided by omega, omega value is half here. So we put here half, then we get 4 pi, okay. So minus 3 and 4 pi. So we have 3 graphs here, 1, 2, 3, 4 graphs and this one is actually matching because sine graph goes through the origin, goes through the center and positive sign graph will go like this this is negative sign graph because it is just flipped here let's say we know that this is graph 3 the next question similarly we find the amplitude and the period first then we can see that this is negative cosine function and negative cosine function is actually matching with our graph number uh, 4 four number graph so four number graph here it is matching with this uh, four number graph because amplitude is 1 2 3 matching here and then our positive cosine function actually starts from the positive side from here then it will start like coming down this is negative cosine function because it flipped about the x-axis that's why that is the reason what happened here and uh, also if you are curious like this this 4 is actually this 4 from 0 to 4 so this is that 4 and if you see somewhere this number, like suppose if you see that there is 2 here, there is uh, 6 here, that means 6 minus 2 equals to 4, that will give you the period. Okay. So from this number, x value, x value, we can actually subtract to find out the period from the given graph. And for this last one, uh, this is last, this last one, this is also amplitude is 3 and then period is from here to here, we get 4 pi, but this is minus cosine function. So for minus cosine function, we have our, this is minus cosine function graph, see, this actually starts like, like this one, this one and this one is similar function, this is both of them. So negative cosine function and from 0 to 4 pi, that means your uh, period is 4 pi, okay, and amplitude is 1, 2, 3, amplitude is 3. So this way we can actually identify the graphs. And this for this question, uh, actually this 30 degree, 45 degree and 60 degree, we just have to put here for the instead of this angle and A equals to 60 and G equals to 32 is given in the question, we just put them and do the calculation here. We get the, for this two value, we get the same, we get the same, although it shouldn't be same actually, because for 30 degree it should take a little bit more time and for 60 degree it should actually take a little bit less time in, in general, normally if this height is if this height is same for the same height if the angle is bigger then the object will fall too fast okay but since here uh, this uh, with this angle our length of the line also increases this length also increases that's why actually they are same because in this question it is not specified that this length will remain same they did not specify it so that this actually this length actually changes here that's that is the reason why the value is same. And if theta equals to pi by 4 is given, then uh, we can just have to put here pi by 4 here. So this is basically, it means sine, pi by 4 means sine 45 degree. So sine 45 de degree equals to root 2 by 2, which is not correct here. And then 5 pi by 4, uh, theta equals to 5 pi by 4. Now we put uh, theta equals to 5 pi by 4 and uh, check it out if it is a correct solution. And this is minus sign given, so basically, it looks like this is correct and we can actually put the value if you want to put it in degree 5 into uh, 5 into 180 divided by 4 
then 225 from this 225 you just write here 225 uh, of this angle and you see that this is 0 0.707 which is actually root 2 by 2 root 2 divided by 2 root 2 divided by 2 is also the same value same value so you can just put this angle here in the portion even for this case also and match if this value is coming if your calculator cannot show root 2 by 2 then actually you can check it manually root 2 by 2 equals to what then what is the digital value you are getting so this is uh, another way to do it then we have to solve this question here uh, so first we send this one to the other side then this is 2 sine square theta equals to 1 sine square theta equals to half because 2 goes to this side then if we square root both sides then it becomes plus minus in this side keep this square from this side to this side it comes then it actually starts making everything plus minus we get uh, we get positive and negative 2 value so and we get 1 divided by 2 1 divided 2 means root 2 by 2 that is uh, same thing so root 2 by 2 is actually 45 degree which is pi by 4 then since it is positive and negative if we draw a unit circle if we draw a unit circle actually you will get uh, you will get the answer everywhere some circle very funny circle and then you have 45 degree here which is positive and here also you will have another uh, positive same answer and this one and this one will be negative okay like this so this 45 degree is our uh, root 2 by 2 then this is 190 uh, plus 45 that means 135 degree or you can say uh, pi by 2 plus uh, pi by 4 this value and this is pi and then pi plus pi by 4 and this is uh, 3 uh, three pi by uh, 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 plus uh, pi by 4 to find out this angle or 2 pi minus pi by 4 to get this angle so many ways to find out this all these angles by the reflection okay the, due to this positive this value is negative this value is negative for the sine sine function so negative half is here and here and positive half is here and here for the sine function so this way we, we, we get the all these four solutions here then this one also similar kind of maths uh, where we just uh, do some calculations for uh, first of all we need to convert convert this sine to cosine so that all of the all of the uh, quantity is in the same same type same thing so that we can factor it or we can do the uh, further calculations in any form in this case we just can factor it and uh, or, or we, we could actually use the a plus whole square formula in this line instead of doing this a minus whole square formula because it matches that's why and still you will get the same answer we will get the same answer cos theta equals to 1 we will get and cos theta equals to 1 is just only at one value which is one 180 degree in in our unit circle cos theta equals to minus uh, cos theta equals to 1 is there mm. so we have our answer uh, answer there let's say what is happening so this is 1 comma 0 this is minus 1 comma 0 and this is 0 comma 1 and this is minus 0 comma minus 1 so this is our cos theta this is our sin theta this is our cos theta this is our sin theta and this is our cos theta this is our sin theta yeah so we have actually this value is cos theta equals to plus 1 is not at pi because this is the cos theta and this is sin theta and cos theta is actually minus 1 here this is only this value so at 0 degree actually we have the answer let's see uh, from 0 then 2 pi so only at 0 degree theta equals to at 0 theta equals to 0 actually we have the answer at 0 at 0 because only here we have cos theta equals to 1 not at 180 degree 0 0 0 so 1 1 1 yeah at 0 degree this is funny my computer is uh, thinking about something 
So add zero degree. Therefore, the solution, the answer is. I think a comma is needed here. So the answer is theta equals to zero, or zero degree, or zero. Uh, zero is actually same for radian and uh, degree for both of them. Okay. Then we have uh, find the exact value of this sine pi by uh, 12. So pi by 12, we can write it this way: 4 pi minus 3 pi. 4 minus 3 equals to this pi. We can write it this way. Then 4 divided by 12 means this. 3 divided by 12 means this. Sine a minus b formula: sine a cos b cos a sine b in between minus. Then you put the value of sine pi by 3, which is 60 degree root 3 by 2. What do you have degree root 2 by 2? We put the value and do the calculation. So for that. Then for this one, we have to find out uh, sine alpha plus beta, tan alpha, alpha minus beta goes to here. So for these two questions, we have to just first of all find out uh, from sine alpha equals to minus 4 by 5. And this uh, is actually telling us the quadrant is between um, 3 pi by 2 and the quadrant is actually a fourth quadrant, this one, fourth quadrant and sine minus uh, 4 by 5. That means uh, minus 4 is negative here. That means our perpendicular is negative here and base is not given or adjacent is, in, is not given opposite is opposite is minus 4 here. Since it is 4 and 5 using Pythagorean theorem we can actually easily find out because Pythagorean theorem equal to c square equals to a square plus b square. Here our uh, c is 5 that means 5 is square equals to 4 is square plus x is square then x equals 2 will automatically come as 3 x equals 2 will come 3 and then we can actually find out all these things sin theta cos theta and then theta sin alpha cos alpha and then alpha here for this one this is uh, between uh, pi by 2 and pi that means it is in our second quadrant and minus 12 this is cos that means adjacent is given adjacent is minus 12 and 13 is the opposite uh, hypotenuse to find out the opposite similar process we have to use the pythagorean theorem which is which will be uh, 13 square equals to minus 12 whole square plus x square and x square will come 5 because 5 12 13 is also a Pythagorean triplet 3 4 5 is a Pythagorean triplet uh, then another Pythagorean triplet is 6 8 and 10 there are tons of Pythagorean triplet uh, so they actually directly falls in the Pythagorean triplet Pythagorean triplet means uh, suppose 3 4 5 or uh, 6 8 10 they are very, uh, they, they are uh, counting numbers and if you use them, you always get a uh, very nice and round solution. That's why they work in the Pythagorean theorem very nicely. So we automatically, some, if you practice it, we practice the maths again and again, then uh, actually automatically you will know that uh, where the answer is going. For this part here, actually cos beta equals to this and yeah, so you find out sine beta, cos beta and tan beta. Then use the formula from here, sine alpha plus beta means this first formula. So sine alpha cos beta and cos alpha sine beta value we can take it take from here and do the calculation. We get the solution, these two solutions from the simplification. This one is projectile related math. So uh, we will have to use uh, two sine alpha cos alpha formula here to get sine 2 alpha because that's the, that's the formula for sine 2 alpha. So we do the math this way and then if we put uh, 90 degree here for 2 alpha here 90 degree then actually we get the maximum value because sin theta's maximum value is 1. All the value, all the angle that you can imagine, whatever the angle you put here other than in this case 45 degree other than 45 degree uh, for this math because 2 into 45 means 90. Only for that 90 answer will be maximum. Any other value you put here your answer will be this after the calculation you will see that answer will be something less than the answer that you obtained when the value was 90 degree always it will work for the maximum so for maximum is actually as i said maximum maximum is at 90 degrees so the maximum will be 1 by 32 v naught squared 1 by 32 v naught squared it will be 1 by 32 v naught squared c number This, this one then we have actually some maths here 
to do the calculation the calculation is done here just just by putting the value okay we can put this value we can put this value directly here or in the simplified version both of them will work this is what we are saying for this math first of all we have to simplify it so simplification uh, main uh, trick is here you have we have cosine sec uh, cosec and etc etc first we will we will uh, we will write it in such a way so that all of them is in sine and cosine so that we can do the simplification just like this so it is cosec so cosec means 1 by sine sec means 1 by cos so all of them in all of the quantity here is in sine and cosine so we just write it this way then we continue for the some simplification we get the simplification like this and uh, for b number how do we get the b number because a equals to 2 and theta equals to 30 given this is how we know that answer is 12 and for c this one is also maximum value so cos theta maximum value is 0 so uh, because 0 degree cos 0 degree equals to 1 that's why so answer is 2a whole squares 2a whole square because if this thing becomes 1 then we get 2a whole square this math is related to the lending money um, from Jamal and Stephanie two person. So first we want to, if we need to make a, a matrix for their uh, lender one and lender two for Jamal and Stephanie and the next one is uh, for the month interest rate. So we get two matrix and then we multiply it. So multiplication processes, you multiply this number first one into this number, then plus uh, 3000 into 0 0.006. So as you know multiplication goes here this way in the in the horizontal line then it comes in the vertical line so multiply this and this and then this and this here down here these are the interest actually and a into c plus b will give us the total amount of money c plus b means you add one here you add one here and then multiply it so total amount of money uh, for <coughs> stephanie for uh, for jamal is seven thousand this this much by multiplying we know we know that and for Stephanie this is the money this portion actually we slightly changed uh, with the with the with the paper that we have posted in the Google classroom and the paper that you have seen in our in your whatsapp group so this is slightly different from one another uh, we just changed the number a bit and then uh, actual function here k inverse 1 into e so we change it a little bit First, we have to find out the inverse function. You can we can use the um, uh, matrix uh, row operation, or you can use the other uh, rule for finding the inverse function. Inverse function should give us this. This is a comma. We don't need it here. Then multiply k inverse one into e. K inverse one is this. E is this. We multiply it, and then we get this number. And if we uh, Put alphabet for all the numbers then we, we find hold fire h o l d f i r e hold fire so this way we can decode it this is a box plot so similar very recent maths i think this uh, idea is still fresh to your mind because you just have given the quiz from here median is 13 uh, this median from the first figure median is 13 here 13 here and then range is this is 21 minus this is 3 so we get the range is 18 for test 1 <coughs> quartile 1 test 1 quartile 1 is 6 test 2 quartile uh, 1 is 9 so this way we can find out and the median for both of them is 12 median for both of them is 12 and test 2 is definitely better because most of the student actually scored from here uh, just to give you a hint actually from here to here 30 uh, 25 percent from here to here 25 percent here to here 25 percent and here to here another 25 percent this all this bar actually means that okay 25 25 25 25 total 100 100 percent in this case 25 25 25 25 total 100 percent that means uh, from this median bar this side is 25 and 25 50 percent and this side is 50 percent and from this quartile one bar this side is 75 percent quartile one bar this side is 75 percent so you can see that this side is actually doing very well in this in this case for this figure because 75 percent student is actually scoring more than nine so this test is better in this case 
For this question, we will have to find out a uh, couple of extract some information like comedy, how much action, how much, etc. etc. Or just if one question you see, suppose sci fi, how much? Sci fi is four people like this. And this question is like 800 grams. So, 800 grams, uh, suppose here other question is little vegetables. Vegetable is this color, so 14. So, 14 percent equals to what we have to find out that means 100 percent equals to this 800 because why from how we know the 100 percent because if you sum all of them you will get always 100 percent in a circle regardless of how you draw the circle for all the circle total is 100 percent so from 100 percent equals to so from 100 percent equals to 800 and 14 percent equals to what we find out these are the math that it is uh, done here from a stem and leaf diagram, so we have this and this. Uh, just we just uh, do this calculation like 44, 47. We just uh, uh, add four with all of the numbers, then we get this like this. Variance and standard deviation for variance. First, we need to extract the data. So we have 14 one time, then 15, 15, 15, 15 three times, then 16, 16, 16, 16 three times, and 17 here. Then we have the data. From that data, we use this um, x i minus x mean formula so our mean is 15.5 we can uh, find mean by adding all the numbers then divide by number of numbers and this is sample so n minus 1 we put it here we get the solution mean is uh, once again here then standard deviation is the square root of this answer that's why you know the standard deviation is here this value is small very small that's why the data is very less scattered this value is bigger that's why the data is um, uh, too much scattered. In other way also you can say that data is scattered that's why our standard deviation deviation is actually bigger in number. Here the data are very really, uh, closely packed that's why the standard deviation is very small answer is very small and without looking at the data if you just I mean without looking at the picture by using by finding the standard deviation actually you can always uh, decide about that. Oh, that's the end of this um, solution paper, practice paper solution. So that's all, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful life. Have a wonderful uh, future ahead. All the very best of luck to you, all of you. And uh, be happy. Bye-bye. See you.